breaking news, Nigerians. Call your minister, Nyeso Nwike, to order. Pa Clark tells President Tinibu. Hi guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you, my country people. The Niger Delta leader and the head of the Pan Niger Delta Forum, Chief Edwin Clark, has asked President Bola Tinubu to caution his minister of the FCT, Nyeson Winke, saying the former governor is behind the plot to impeach the current River State Governor, Sim Fubara. The River State House of Assembly had removed Fubara's loyalist and majority leader, Edson, who was said to have frustrated an attempt to initiate impeachment proceedings against the governor on Monday. After that, the governor and his loyalists reportedly surrounded by armed security operatives stormed the assembly complex to disrupt the impeachment move. Then, they later named a new speaker of the house after Edson, after which he was suspended, he, after he also suspended some members of the assembly. Now, Paklak in a statement on Monday said, Tinibu must act fast and advert the unfolding crisis in River State. In the interest of his administration, the nation's democracy and the country at large, Clark said Nigeria is, a, is in a democracy and the tenets of constitutional democracy must be upheld by all rivers people who have suffered enough political crisis. Now we know that what's happening in River State has caused a lot of, you know, uh, disturbing, you know, reactions from Nigerians because it was said that they've been a plot to remove the governor of River State, Sim Fubara, who has spent only five months in office. And this is a sad episode. But then, people are pointing fingers at the past governor of River State, Nyeso Nwike, who is now the FCT minister, that he has the intention of removing the governor, and that the intention is to remove the governor to force his deputy, Professor Ngozi Odu, to resign and to install the Speaker of the House of Assembly, another equary person, as the governor of the state. So, this is something that we must not allow to happen. And Pa Edwin uh, Clark has called on to President Bola Tinibu to call Nyeson Wike to order, and the security agencies in River State to order, to avert any untold crisis in River State. Because the consequences would be dire for the stability of the region and the national economy, because if you want to look at it, what has Governor Fubara done wrong to Nyeson Wike? Is his offense refusing to be further controlled by Wike? Refusing to be further remote controlled by Wike? Is that his offense? Because Wike was governor for eight years. Nobody treated him this way. He governed River State like an emperor. He did not show any autumn of respect and regard for anyone. Not even those who imposed him on River State people in 2015. So why now? Why is he doing all these things now? This is way out of line. And Winke should be called to order. So, as it is now, only time will tell. My country people, there is fire in River State. And Winke is at the center of this. People are pointing us on Winke. As this, at the center of this very issue in River State. Because at this point, people are talking. And with the way things are going, we don't know what would be the fate of uh, Governor Sim uh, Fubara of River State. Because Nelson Wike is putting intense pressure. And they've called on to Tinibu to look into this matter before he gets out of hand. But then, what can we say? Because it seems that we have two governors in River State. The immediate governor and the current one. But then, I'm sure that, that uh, there was an agreement made between uh, Nyeso Nwike and Fubara before he came into power. But at this point, it seems that Nwike is too drunk for power. 
But he should understand that River State does not belong to him. He should allow Sim Fubara to complete his tenure the way he completed his tenure without distraction. For River's people, at this point, the plan by some certain personalities to overthrow Fubara is not just nice in any way. And all fingers are pointed to Nye Zonwike. Is it because Fubara did not play along with him? Is it because Fubara doesn't want himself to be controlled by Nye Zonwike? Is that why all these things is happening? Well, we can should get the message that power is transit. It doesn't stay with you for long. When you are done ruling, you hand over to the next person and that is it. Not try to impose into the affairs of River State because it will get to a point whereby this thing will definitely backfire. And there have been serious tension in River State. Serious tension because it got to a point whereby uh, Sim Fubara had to go see, you know, the River State House of Assembly complex that was burnt down. And then on his way, uh, Sim Fubara had accused the security agencies of, you know, shooting at him directly, pouring water on him. The process is too much. And it was learned that a tear gas was even used to prevent, you know, the governor and other people that stormed the complex and other things. So a lot of things is happening in River State. Currently, Rivers is on fire and all hands are pointing at Mike. So people have started talking that Tinibu should do something about it before it gets out of hand. It seems that Wike wants to be everywhere in politics. Wike wants to be everywhere. He wants to lay his hands on everything. And he, he seems to be more intoxicated by power. But at this point, it is not just right. They say what goes around surely comes around. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this issue? This is a very delicate matter. And uh, people are calling out for Tinibu, for Tinibu to, you know, to talk to Winke, his minister. So, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. Winke is going down in every aspect of his life because of power intoxication. Tinibu has no power against Winke because they are both the president of Nigeria. That's the promise he made to him before he agreed to manipulate the results in his favor. Winke's end is around the corner. He will definitely end in shame. Winke has sowed the rip and the wind and he shall reap the whirlwind. wind. I'm not happy with what's happening to Winke, but then he should not have attempted to rule both rivers and Abuja together. Just like what he did to Rotimi Amechi, Sim Fubara is an Ijo man and will run him out of rivers. But then Bolad Metinibu can save his minister by a call for a meeting. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.